Welcome. Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 100 Contractor 27.1. In the 36 Receivables Clients window, a new Completed Orders button is available at the bottom of the window. You can use it to view work orders that have a completed status. Keep in mind, these are work orders that are completed, but are not going to be billed. In the 3.7 Progress Billing and the 3.9 Unitary Billing windows, you can change the calculated retention amounts in the detail grid and the total retention amount in the lower part of the window. Keep in mind when overriding the calculated retention can create discrepancies in the retention shown on progress billing reports. In the 432 Pay Vendors, Screen Now has a refresh button. You can first run the pay report and preview the vendors. Here we can drill down to the vendor we want to pay. You can change the Set to Pay amount and click the Save button. Exit out of the windows, taking you back to the Pay Vendors screen. Now you can click the Refresh button to see the changes. In the 4-4 Vendors window, the Invoice Payments window now includes the job associated with each paid invoice. For the 5-1-2 Payroll Check Registered Totals page report, you can choose a new separate reports by employee option to print a separate totals page for each employee. When you first open an employee lookup window, the program displays employees with current status by default. When you open the window subsequently, the program uses the status you chose the last time you used the window. Congratulations! You now know what's new in Sage 100 Contractor version 27.1.